Hi, population. Welcome to Off the Rack. I'm Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. We're back in Batman. I just figured since Batman is so weird and interesting right now, let's delve into more Batman. You yeah. Know, we've done Batman with Gordon as Batman, but let's see how, how it's going. going. What do you guys think of Batman number 42, written, of course, by Scott Snyder and art by Greg Capullo? I'm still confused as to what this universe is trying to do with Gordon and Bruce. Mm. I'm confused with this universe and we are Robin. Mm. But overall, I felt like the book is trying to quickly get rid of Gordon as Batman. And I'm not a fan of that. Really? Personally. Obviously, we are going to get in spoiled territory. So if you haven't read the book yet, favorite this episode and then come back to it later when you've finished reading it. Yeah. Anyway, spoilers from here on out. Uh, Batman's back. Bruce Wayne's back. He's not Batman, but he's Bruce Wayne. He never died. Yeah. Which is what I called it a long time ago. Well, I mean, like, I don't think anybody's really surprised, especially with them being... No, but people were like, you know, no, this is a a new place. No, Bruce Wayne is dead. He died. He died, you know. I'm like, yeah, no. No, he did. Peter Parker died, too. They're not killing off Bruce Wayne. No. And, uh, I think you're worried that because they showed their hand too quickly, that it means they're gonna... I'm very worried about that, because I assume they're like... It's, here's what I guess it is for me, and, like, I think I'm taking, um, a big leap in logic, and I think that's my... Right, you're going, you're going for, you're seeing further I forward. think I am, like, then I really should be, or I'm making connections that aren't really there, but this issue came out the few days before the San Diego Comic-Con, uh, reveal of the Superman, or Batman v Superman trailer. Yeah. So it's almost like they're like, yeah, but see, he's not dead, and he's gonna be Batman real soon, don't worry about it. Right. And, like, I think, I, again, I think I'm just making a leap in logic here, but well, I'm it's like, could we just leap. let him, like, could we just let Gordon be Batman for a little bit and build up to a point where maybe Bruce Wayne needs to come back, as opposed to not even, like, into rushing that? I yeah. don't know. I, you know what? It's a, it's a natural reaction to have, because it's, but you know what? It's a very Marvel move. It's a very Marvel move to be like, got a movie coming out, and I know I made this really cool status quo change, but let's just change it back because we gotta... We don't let the new readers get confused. We, these poor new readers. These poor new readers, they're just so easily confused. If they go see the movie, and they pick up the comic, and it's a little different, well, they'll just throw all their hands up and quit both of them. Like, yeah, it's very strange. It's, it's, it's a stupid idea to, like, need to make your movies and your comics coincide, and no one is asking you to do it. Not new readers, not old readers, especially not old readers. That said, I don't like Gordon as Batman. Well, fine. And I'm already sick of it. Okay. I think it could be interesting, but I don't think it is an interesting I don't think, enough. No, I don't think they're giving it the opportunity to be interesting. Right. I, I would. I, you know what? I would get into it more if it was a graphic novel. I might get into it more if we actually had a Batman villain to go against. <laughs> well, we are. They're building they that, that world. But they're not even letting Gordon face it before revealing that Bruce Wayne is alive. Well, and I and think... that's what I'm like, why? Okay, now here's the thing. Bruce Wayne's back, but I don't think he's going to be Batman it doesn't matter. right away. But, like, immediately, like, Gordon faces his first supervillain. I'm sorry, look. Gordon has been in Gotham for, like forever right mm-hmm. and maybe he hasn't gone toe-to-toe in the same degree as batman has no he's faced Batman. every super in batman's yeah, face but he's been around them like he shouldn't need to go and find bruce wayne and maybe that's not what he's going to find him for we don't know it's the last page reveal so i don't really know yeah but like give him a chance like just right. let him try to be batman for a while before we bring bruce wayne back mm-hmm. or even like hint that he's back yeah. you know what i would have loved to see was gordon actually taking care of the batman villains the classic batman villains yeah in a new way with the suit Showing that he's competent. Being like, now that I have all of this technology behind me, right. I can use all of the experience I've had as a cop to really make a change, and I'm practically invincible. And that's when they have to come out with a new villain. Someone that is different. Someone that challenges what he is used to experiencing. That'd be cool. That I mean, would be fun. The fact is, like, it, it would be a smart move to have Gordon vanquish one of Batman's classic foes in a new way. Yeah, even if it's just one. Like, I don't think it needs to be all of them no, by any it, means. It's, like, it's like, like there's an Arkham breakout, and he just... Yeah, exactly. It fixes everything. Or maybe, like, if he just dealt with some standard crime for a while. Right. But we were an issue two of him being Batman, and already, you know, it we're just, kind of hinting really, that he's going to be going away. It seems like, and again, I don't know anything. It feels to me, though, like, Snyder had this idea, and then, like, maybe editorial was like, yeah, but we need you to accelerate this process, because yeah. we're going to need to be back to Batman at this point. Yes. And I'm not saying, like, right now, but, like... Within a year and a half, less than? Yeah, about yeah. a year and a half, the... Is it? No, it's March of next year. March of 2016. So it's less than a year away. 
they need to have Batman back as Bruce Wayne. Yeah, which is so, less than 12 issues, so... Exactly, and he's going to need to be Batman for a while. Yeah. So the fact is, like, Gordon's never going to get the chance Actually, to... Actually, they could push it all the way to March. The well, first March Batman issue could be the return of Bruce Wayne. Right, but he's going to have to be Bruce Wayne after that. Like, anyway, gonna, Batman's going to have to be Bruce Wayne from then on out for yeah. a while. Oh, yeah, no, it'll, they'll, they'll stop that. But it's like, yeah, maybe you're right. Like, maybe as a graphic novel, this would have been more successful, because then we could have explored, we could explore the space um, <laughs> of, of, of Jim Gordon being Batman. I, I agree. I don't know. Well, like, I'm just, like, I was really excited about this, and, like, I feel like it's only issue two, so I really, or issue two of this arc. Yeah. Um, and I feel like I'm already, like, disappointed by it. Right. Um, but I don't know, because, like, it could turn, who knows. Yeah. But right now, I'm like, oh. That's too bad. They even said, like, African Virgin's like, continuity doesn't matter. Right, we if could have a universe where Gordon's Batman. Does it matter? Maybe you could actually keep Gordon as Batman for a while through Bruce Wayne being Batman in the movies because they're not the same. But no, but like, he's, the style's completely right. It's all about the new readers, and you can't have your main flagship Batman book when yeah. the movie comes out and not be Bruce Wayne. If this Wayne. is called Jim Gordon Batman, maybe we do something. And maybe they'll spin it out into it, but like. Or like Batman Arkham Detective. Yeah. And like, <laughs> That's a book. Uh, I'm saying it is a book, it's a pitch. But, like, for me, here's the thing. Uh, it needs to be an original graphic novel because there, it completely changes the Batman-Gordon dynamic if Bruce Wayne's still alive. Because when Batman comes back, in the, invariably. Because, like, this happening in a flagship Batman title. Oh, it's new and different! But it's, even, is it new and different if they put it back the way it was in a year? No. So, make it new and different in something else so that people can just enjoy it for being new and different. Uh, for me, the... Gordon being Batman and then Bruce Wayne coming back as Batman completely destroys the Gordon Batman dynamic. Interesting. Because now you have Batman and Gordon being like, so I was a failed Batman, uh, but, you know, I can still help you, I guess. It's just, it's going to be a weird place if you follow the logic uh, train towards that end uh, for Gordon to be like, I used Unless to they be. kill Gordon. Right, they could, and but he'll they'll bring him back. Yeah. Uh, the fact is, like for me, the only thing that was actually interesting about the reveal was this is the first time that you're seeing Bruce and Gordon as equals. No, that's true. You saw them looking eye to eye. Gordon might be a little shorter, but they're eye to eye. Gordon is not hunched over in a train in a trench coat, smoking a cigarette, helping Batman, giving him feeding him information. He is standing upright. Uh, Shoulders back, with chest a out, with a mohawk. And like seven nicotine patches. Seventeen nicotine <laughs> patches up and down his body. But you know, like... What are you, slipping? What is it? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's just candy. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really fascinated and interested to see this go that way. No, also, I... there's an ending, with the ending, where we're getting... A little bit more to the end of Zero Year. And if yeah. you watched our episode of Off the Rack where we talk about Zero Year, the last issue of Zero Year, um, I talk a lot about the ending and how unsatisfactory it was for me because it was just like so uncomfortable. This one f- takes that idea I had earlier where I was like, that sucks, and then realizes it again. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I don't want to. I don't want to give away everything. So I'll just say, maybe it takes an idea from the end of Zero Year and then plays with it more. And maybe, I'm like, cool. Maybe Bruce is going to suffer from that old soap opera trope. What, of amnesia? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't have amnesia. I was thinking the exact same thing. They Still know. The I'm no, really the hoping it's not that. If he's Bruce Wayne and everyone knows he's Bruce Wayne, everyone he works with, then Alfred shouldn't be sad. Yeah, if he's Bruce Wayne, how come everybody isn't like, and you're a, like, you're a billionaire? Yeah. I mean, like, if he was, if, if he was Matches Malone or something, at least then they wouldn't, they could play with the amnesia plot. I don't Plus, know. there can't be any, like, well, it's Bruce Wayne, but no one knows he's back. It's like, no, fuck that, he's Bruce Wayne! Yeah, if fucking Bill Gates started working at a soup kitchen, they'd be like, oh my god, Bruce, uh, Bill Gates, what are you doing here? He's like, I have an amnesia. News in five minutes! Yeah, no, it would be done. Uh, you grew a beard. Well, then I don't know who you are. But see, now, here's the thing, though. That, in and of itself, does make me want to pick up issue three. I, of course, wish that issue two had really come down the line a little. Like, this reveal had come down, like, maybe, like, issue six. Yeah. Like, again, but I'm a big fan of the Gordon as Batman. Yeah. Like, role, and, like, exploring that. So, for me, I'm like, I really wish this had come later. Like, I right. really, really, truly wish that. Yeah, for people who are, couldn't wait for Batman to come back, mm-hmm. this is going to be very exciting for them. Totally. I would love to think that Gordon came to Bruce, not for advice, mm-hmm. but to tell him... Like, stay off. Yeah, like, this is my turf now. Yeah. I don't think that that's what it is at all, considering the fact that he didn't go to Bruce, which I love the fact that he knew the, where Bruce was. 
Um, he didn't come to Bruce until a supervillain had targeted him. Yeah. Yeah, that's weak. So, and, but, this is all... Speculation, yeah, we don't know. this is all speculation. Who knows? We won't know for another month. Yeah. Unless there's delays. Don't say that, because now I really desperately need to know. Right? And I really feel like issue three is going to be the point where we're going to be like, either screw this, or... Or, okay, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, like, exactly. Ooh, they're changing, they're not doing what we expected them yeah. to. All right. So... Uh, so, yeah, I think the writing is sharp. Obviously, yeah. Capula's art needs not be said. It's great. It no, it's awesome. all great. Like, there's so many great little touches. Mm-hmm. Tell you, those, those nicotine patches, that really got me. That was funny. I love how, really how many he had. Yeah. He's so addicted. Yeah. Like, one, two, it's not enough. No. It's five. I also like that <laughs> five patches. DC is not afraid to have a protagonist smoking. Well, they're getting him off of it because Batman... But only because he's becoming Batman. Only because they have to acknowledge that cigarettes do impede your cardiovascular activity. Yeah, because he has to, like, run around and stuff. It doesn't matter if he's in a suit. That'd be really funny if, like, at some point the suit is smoking. He opens it. And people are like, oh my god, what's wrong? He's like, nothing, I just had a smoke. Yeah. Oh, I assume assume the villain would be like, (gasps) yeah. Oh my god, what's happening in there? Nothing. (laughs) Yeah. Cloud. I'm just vaping, guys. Maybe they'll make Gordon start vaping. It's bat vape. Yeah. Bat flavored vape. Tastes like justice. Damn it! I was gonna say that exactly. Oh yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next uh, time. I'm Sal. I'm Ben. And I'm Tiffany. Thanks for watching. <gasps>